Paul and Silas are singing. One of the most important things that the church needs in applying the gospel to political engagement is not better strategy, is not better polling, is not better candidate recruitment, it's better hymnody. They are singing in a prison cell and they are singing through consciences that are formed as the people of God's consciences are always formed by the admonishing of one another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Several years ago, I had a friend who had experienced a miscarriage. And my wife and I were talking to her and checking on her. And she said, I'm not going to go to my church tomorrow I'm going to go down the street to a liberal Episcopal church. And I said to her, why? She said, oh, it's just for this Sunday. It's just for this Sunday. She said, I just couldn't handle the hilarity of it all at our church. And what she meant by that was that there was a hymnody, there was a form of music in her church that only expressed exuberant joy and celebration. There was not the sort of hymnody that could express groaning, lament, the way that the Psalms do as they they express every aspect of human emotion. Our hymns, our service to one another, our life together as a body, our submission to the Scriptures together, these things shape and form us even in ways that we can't see and we can't articulate because they shape and they form our intuitions as a Christian people together. They show us and shape for us what matters and who matters. And then we're able to be the people who speak to the outside world from a gospel frame of reference. 